Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are doing a quick demo on Jupyter Notebooks. So if you see UK COVID cases, this is the statistics right now. And we will try to create this data visualization. So we'll create this graph uh, by using all the stuff that is available in Python. And we'll be using the their notebooks for this. So if you see, we have the cases versus the time. So what we're gonna do is uh, we'll download the data from the official UK website and then import that data into a data frame and then do our transformation and then we'll do the visualization. So right now I'll go to the Google, I'll go to the coronavirus data gov.uk, I'll fetch the data, I'll download it as a CSV file. So I'll go there, I'll download it. I'll store this in the same folder where I would be running my uh, Jupyter Notebooks. I mean, you can store it anywhere, but you'll have to, you know, give the full path for that when you use it. So I'll, I'll just store it where I'll be running my Jupyter Notebooks from. So I've gone, I've done a CD to this uh, location where I have stored my, uh, this data. Uh, so I'll uh, run the Jupyter Notebooks from this folder. So I've run it uh, and it's already there. I've already prepared my notebook. I won't be going through the process of what you do, what you need to do. But this, this is more of a demo of what you can do and how you can do. So uh, let's start with that. So this is my demo notebook that I have created. So first you import all the libraries that you would need. Uh, for this one, uh, we will uh, we'll import matplotlib and then we'll import pandas. pandas is for all our data you know cleaning manipulation all that and matplotlib is what we will be using for uh, the graph that we have to create so uh, th there's nothing much in this so what we do is we just uh, fetch uh, all the data inside a data frame using uh, read underscore csv and then we sort that with date then i create uh, our you know the axis x and y so for x i'll be using date which is what we want and why would be the number of cases and then just use the matplotlib to create the graph so this is in in short what we are going to do we'll also save that graph in like a png file like just just like a you know uh, as a picture so we can do that so let's get started so I'll run the first cell, it imports the matplotlib, then I import pandas. This is where I create the data frame. So in data frame, uh, I'm using the same, the file that we downloaded earlier. So pdf equals to pd.read underscore csv and then the file name. So when you run that, you can see we, these are the two fields that we need. One is the date, the other is new cases by specimen date so we have that so the data frame is ready the data is with us we now need to use it according to our requirement so this is the graph on the x axis is the date y axis is the number of cases on a particular day let's go back so on my so first I'll sort it sort the entire data frame by date so sort a DF which is okay you can give any name use the data frame we created earlier and then sort with values we are sorting by date ascending equals to true So we have so we have a sorted data frame now sorted by date then we will need the two columns date so on x axis is our date and y axis is the number of cases on the particular day
So x is equals to sorted df square brackets date. So now x vari variable stores the date column. Similarly, we'll do the y axis. Y equals to the sorted df, which is the data frame we sorted. Sorted df with the column name that is new cases by specimen date. Now we have our x and y values. The only thing we now need to do is use the matplotlib and create the graph. So we have, you know, earlier we have given an alias for matplotlib as mplt matplotlib.pyplot, which pyplot is what we are using. So if you straight uh, go ahead and, you know, run that matplotlib.plot xy it creates a graph so it's inline so earlier we have mentioned to create an inline I mean we have imported it uh, the matplotlib inline so when you run it you can see the graph but we want a functionality when you hover on top of it you should be able to see the values which is not as of now so I'll uncomment everything so there are two ways in which we can create the you know uh, required graph this is the simplest way and we are using MPL cursors So when, now when I hover on top, I can see the values and I've also used the PyLab. So I am getting this as a different, you know, on a different screen, like a dialog box coming up. You can zoom in if you want. So let's go back. This was the first way in which you can create our required graph. The second way is using the figure. Same thing, import MPL cursors, which is like for hovering on top of that graph. Then in figure, big size. See so all these things I will explain properly in later videos i think we'll keep this short this is more of a demo of what you can do there are two ways one was straight to use the mplt dot plot xy done and this one is more uh, you know more free for configuration more flexible and so here we have it same graph everything remains the same I've labeled I mean I've given a title COVID cases in UK if you see we have the exact graph that we wanted to create so all the current data visualization is being done in Python everything that you see around you know all the magical wonders with statistics is using Python at the back end so we will create uh, videos in future see this is this is what I was talking about if I save that as a PNG so whatever you know the graph was available to us we can save that as a picture as a PNG file So this is a quick short demo of what can be done. There are numerous amount of ways you can use uh, Python, I mean Python and Notebook together to create, to clean data, to manipulate data, to 
do no load data into a table or export a csv lots of things that you can do you can do data visualizations and uh, yeah 